Perhaps it's hard for some people to imagine the bond between us and Chibi because we look at her as our child, <laughs> which may sound absurd to some people. We are Alesh and Yanya, and this is Chibi's story for GeoBeats. My friend was walking with her baby and found Chibi lying on the floor, and the parents were not around. Hearing that the baby bird needs someone's help was just something that we couldn't refuse. We had no idea how to do it, what to do, what not to do, but the information is out there and all you need is a big heart. She was so tiny. We estimate she was about 10 days. You just try to feed her, try to provide her uh, with warmth. When we got her, she was eating huh, almost by an hour. Oh, half actually, an hour. Actually, every half an hour, I would say. About half an hour. And we gave her a, a little snowman that we happened to have in our drawer. She loved it. She was hugging it. She was uh, sleeping next to it for quite some time. <laughs> the first time we went out with her, we said, okay, now we better say goodbye and just keep the nice memories of baby bird. She flew around when we left her out and then she came back. When a wild bird comes back to you, does not want to leave and decides to be your friend forever, it's hard to explain the bond that arises between you and the bird. Chibi can fly perfectly fine. She adapted to living inside. She's less like a turbo jet and more like a helicopter. She, she <laughs> hovers. Chibi. She's so excited when we go out. All the information, all the noises, and she has to check out uh, every nook and cranny. She could be riding on your shoulder and then all of a sudden, bam, she flies up into a tree. She really likes this man. <laughs> She's mostly just curious, playful, hungry. She hates umbrellas, brooms, colorful sticks. I don't know, it's just the way she is. <laughs> she sleeps anywhere. On the chair, on the TV. On the window. When she's sleepy, it's better to just, leave just her let alone. her be. Yeah. Don't touch her. Inside the apartment, she's free all the time. We did build her a cage, but the cage is huge. It takes up half of the living room and it's always open. And Chibi is always free to go in and out as she pleases. We really try to provide as much freedom on every step of her life. She comes to our bed to wake us up. She's really attached to us. If you're in the bedroom, she's in the bedroom. If you're in the kitchen, she's in the kitchen. There was one time we lost her at the campsite. She found another sparrow, flew around, and then she didn't know how to return. We couldn't find her for like 11 hours. And in the evening, when we almost lost the hope, we found Chibi sitting on one man's shoulder while he was walking around and by the beach. I started to cry immediately. This man told us that he was in a restaurant with his friends, he was eating dinner, and then Chibi approached. They ate dinner together <laughs> while we were searching for her. Uh, what we learned is when we lose her, just check other people. Ciao! Not so strange, it's not so strange. We'll see you later.